Hey guys, so it's my birthday today. I'm uh, 32. Um, from the color of my skin, you can tell that I'm Filipino. So we're gonna do a Filipino themed lunch. Um, we're starting off with some fried chicken that I um, brined in some soy sauce, lemongrass, ginger, and lime for an hour or so. And then I cut it up. These are whole chicken breasts that I cut up. And then uh, I tossed them in with some fresh garlic, some paprika, some five spice. And then we're gonna, um, and then I added our green banana flour as well as mochiko flour. So it's a gluten-free fried chicken. And we're gonna serve this with some uh, homemade banana sauce. I'm also gonna make uh, Filipino noodles called pancit bihon. Uh, every time there's a party, there's always pancit. So I grew up eating this uh, during birthday parties and other celebrations. It's pretty simple. It's, uh, you just saute um, shallots and garlic with a bunch, whatever veggies you have available. So today we've got cabbage and green beans here and leeks. And then I'm, th I'm thinking of uh, maybe adding some green pepper over there. It's also good with onion. I mean, um, not onion, carrot. And I'm also gonna add some mushrooms in there because it's gonna be a vegan pancit bihon. Usually pancit bihon is with um, fish sauce, which kind of makes it so great. But we're gonna make a vegan version for the vegans at the farm, which is all two of them. <laughs> That's cool though. We, we're, all about, we're all about trying different cuisines. But yeah, um, Filipino food is generally a lot of meat. <laughs> like, it, it's, it's, it's non-vegan friendly because it's like, it's either fish or pork or chicken or beef and everything, even like in the vegetarian dishes. So I'm gonna get the chicken frying right now. Get a walk, a nice walk. Get get your oil really hot. What? What is that face? A nice walk, you said. Walk. Ah, walk. <laughs> These foreigners, man. Walk. Hot oil. I'm gonna start with some minced onion. Get that browning a little bit. Garlic, about a teaspoon. And then I'm also gonna add leeks, the green beans, and the cabbage. And then at the end, we're gonna add the noodles. Add some soy sauce, uh, the mushrooms, some rags maybe and kind of toss it and let the noodles soak up all the flavors. Mushroom. Now we're gonna add the noodles. Bihon, which is a thinner kind. Yeah. Add some water to kind of help the noodles cook and hydrate. So the last thing we're going to make is a coconut salad with some these are older coconuts that we have, so the, f the flesh is pretty firm and hard. Yeah, so here we go. We're cutting some coconuts. Um, I just wanted to show you guys uh, just a basic knife scale of uh, how we cooks usually do it, just to avoid cutting yourself or injuring yourself pretty badly. I mean, I still cut myself all the time, but 
Uh, luckily, no fingers. I still have all of them. But River, I think, I think River, River has four fingers. <laughs> so you take your knife. You're essentially guiding your knife. So you, it's pretty close. So your knuckle, so your, I don't know. What do you call this? Fuck. Middle and index. Your middle and index finger. You're guiding knuckles. your knife. Your, knuckles. your knuckles, yeah. Your yeah. middle and index finger, you're kind of guiding it. You're guiding the knife, and it's really like resting on your knuckles. And then that's how you can kind of get finer cuts without being worried about your fingers getting in the way. And like, you can look a different direction too when you're doing this. Yeah? I'm pretty sure I'm not cutting yeah, my fingers. Yeah, but I always have your fingers there. <laughs> Just, w yeah, so I'm doing this pretty fast, but you can do it pretty slow just to make sure that, you know, you'll get faster as you go and then slower towards the end. Um, I'm going to make it with some lemons, some whole lemons that are cut up and a guava puree. And then we're going to grab some mint over here. And then I'm actually going to use a, I'm not sure what this is called, but we're going to use a pestle. <laughs> yeah. With the Japanese version. And we're going to do it like a papaya salad, almost. We're I'm just going to mash all the flavors together. So hopefully the coconut kind of... Um, takes in all that flavor. Shit, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my line. What? I forgot my line. Your line. Hold on, hold on, what was it? Oh, here we are, coconut salad. Yeah, we we oh, done. Lastly, coconut salad, uh -huh. blah, blah, blah. Okay, great, 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 great. Lastly, we got the coconut salad all done. And here we are, our Filipino lunch for the day, uh, for my birthday celebration. Um, thumbs up, like us on YouTube or Instagram, and you can follow us and check out all the dishes that we're going to make, because we're multicultural over here, so there's going to be a lot more. We've got Japanese, we've got Brazilian, we got Russian, we got Mexican, we got Vietnamese, we got French, we got Filipino. Who else is here? Uh, America. Oh, yeah, exactly. River. <laughs> I'm show my double chin. Please. Thank you. Are you sure? All right. <laughs> I'm all